More than 15 million people have read Paula Hawkins' The Girl on the Train, and now a movie will be hoping to capitalise on its success. So, for those who haven't read the book, or just need a recap, Rachel's recent divorce from Tom has left her devastated. He now lives in the home they once shared, with his new wife, Anna, and their baby. As well as drinking heavily to distract herself, Rachel spends her daily commute fantasising about a seemingly perfect couple, Megan and Scott, who live in a house near where she used to live, that a train passes every day. Then one morning, she sees something shocking happen there, something she can't let go. The following morning, she wakes up with a horrendous hangover and no memory of what happened the night before, only that it was something really bad. But when Megan goes missing, Rachel becomes consumed by a need to find out what happened. I saw someone with Megan Hipwell, but uh, not on Friday night. She, she was having an affair. She had a lover. That's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I thought you. you didn't know her. The Girl on the Train was produced on a budget of $45 million, according to Box Office Mojo. It was directed by Tate Taylor, whose previous films include The Help, which was nominated for the Best Picture Academy Award in 2012, as well as nominations for several of its female cast members, with Octavia Spencer winning Best Supporting Actress. Thank you, Academy, for putting me with the hottest guy in the room. Um. Like The Help, The Girl on the Train 2 features a strong female cast, including Rebecca Ferguson, Hayley Bennett and Lisa Kudrow. But Emily Blunt plays the title role, a character she describes as a delusional Nancy Drew. The Girl on the Train was adapted for the big screen by Erin Cressida Wilson, who describes it as the moving rear window, a reference to 1958's voyeuristic Hitchcock classic. Those are just a few of my neighbours. First I watched them just to kill time, but then I couldn't take my eyes off them. But to keep the girl on the train fresh for audiences who've read the novel, the filmmakers have created scenes out of material only glimpsed at in the book. They've also introduced a vital new character and worked to redirect suspicion. Another big change from the book is the film's setting, which has moved from London to New York. Producer Mark Platt says that as well as being a commuter city that's parallel to London, setting it in New York allows them a stronger relatability for their domestic audience. 